Hey everybody, Steven here to bring you a preview of Mega Visions issue number two. Um, first off, I want to say that I apologize if the audio is not exactly good. Um, we have some vaulted ceilings in our house, so it's a little, uh, can get a little echoey. So I apologize for the um, audio if it is bad. Um, but with that said, since this issue is heavily focused on Yakuza, I want to start with uh, one of the Yakuza articles. So let's uh, begin with the Yakuza retrospective. Now, before I go uh, in depth with those, I want to point out that we've got two different versions here. We've got the tablet version, and then we also have the mobile version. I'm going to primarily work on the mobile version because it seems, and it might just be the fact that I have a uh, Galaxy S5. I don't know if that has anything to do with the optimization, but on my phone, um, for some reason, the clicking on some of the articles and uh, other, I guess, what you can call features, um, aren't working. So I'm just going to primarily use the tablet. However, it is functional. Um, so if you do have a phone, you don't have access to a tablet, this magazine is great on, on mobile devices. However, for some reason on mine, it's just not wanting to, wanting to work. So uh, with that said, let's go on to the Yakuza retrospective. This particular article, the Yakuza retrospective, whoops, sorry about that. Um, I'm used to the mobile version. Um, basically, it goes into the history of Yakuza by providing details um, of what console it started on, um, the plot of the game itself, and more. Um, I don't want to go into too many details because, uh, spoilers. Also, I do want to apologize. Um, it looks like my camera is having some kind of weird coloring going on with the um, tablet. I'm not sure why. It's got some kind of like rainbowy color, so I apologize for that. Um, but trust me when I say it looks gorgeous on my Tab 4, so I can only imagine how it will look on... <laughs> A more upgraded tablet. Now onto the main event of the issue is Yakuza 0. This is a review of the PS4 exclusive um, discussing the similarities and differences between the um, other Yakuza games, uh, details of the plot, and many more. Again, I don't really want to get into major specifics on this one just because of the fact that uh, it'll be going into spoiler territory and I want you um, to be able to experience it yourself. All right, and then continuing on with our Yakuza theme, um, is the Yakuza 6 preview. Now, this article delves heavily into the plot of Yakuza 6, uh, which was released in Japan December 8th, 2016, and it's going to be coming out uh, in America sometime in uh, 2018, looks like quarter two. It will also be coming to the uh, PS4 as well, um, and it gives a brief introduction and jumps kind of into the story and the gameplay. And, I mean, I'm going to sound like a broken record when I say this, but um, I don't want to delve into too many spoilers of the article, because then if I do, then, you know, why read it and just watch the video instead? So, I would rather you all be able to enjoy it yourself. Last but not least of the Yakuza roundup of this Megavision's uh, issue is the Where Are They Now section. Now, this article is awesome. It's actually one of my favorite articles in the entire uh, magazine of this issue. Um, it follows a winner of a Yakuza 3 promotion where a lucky fan won a basically a full-size replica tattoo of basically the uh, tattoo that our main character has in Yakuza. Once again, I'm not going to delve into anything because it's, it's just really interesting what he has to say about it. Um, no spoilers once again. All right, so we're going to shift some gears here and we're going to go um, for the reviews and previews that are going to be showing up in this, uh, this issue. All right, now we're going to shift gears and we're going to go into the reviews and previews of this issue. Um, so starting off with Yakuza 0, we've got Lego Sonic Dimensions. Um, we also have Football Manager 17, or 2017. Um, we got Hatsumiku, uh, Hatsune Miku Project uh, Diva as well, and uh, several more, but I mean, that kind of just gives you a brief overview of what uh, what's in this one. And as far as previews go, we've got one that I'm absolutely, completely excited for, and that's uh, Daytona 3. We also have uh, Yakuza 6 and uh, Persona 5 as well, better in the preview section. Um, once again, just amazing work by our team here, and uh, I, I just love, absolutely love the fact that we have the uh, 
interactive screens here just kind of makes the magazine just have more personality and it's just something that I'm very very proud of. And then last but not least in terms of reviews we've got the retro reviews we got Daytona USA CCE, we've got uh, Blaster Master 2, Gun Valkyrie, Shining Force 2, um, and then we got several more as well with that. Um, once again, just some great articles, some great insights from some uh, hardcore Sega fans here. Returning this issue is past processing with Tom Kalinske and Al Nilsson uh, talking about their times with Sega. Um, basically just kind of an interview with them. Uh, you can listen to the audio of it as well right there just by clicking that. Uh, some great insight to what it was to basically be working for Sega back in its heyday. Another returning article is Confessions of a Nintendo Fan. Essentially what this is is um, basically one of our writers who had missed out on some great Sega memories growing up basically being a Nintendo fan. Um, so once again just another great little article um, from some hardcore Sega fans. Uh, some interesting insight that you probably wouldn't get anywhere else or at least um, as unique as what we have. And one of the other returning articles is Arcade Memories. Uh, these focus on basically Sega games that were in the arcade and ones that you may not remember. Once again, another great article by another one of our great writers in this magazine. One of the new articles uh, that has joined this issue is What Did I Just Play? It's basically an article that focuses on the weird and or terrible games uh, that we play and this one focuses on Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. I haven't had the opportunity to play this game, but um, based on the article, it doesn't sound so good. Uh, another newcomer to this issue is Kickstarter Watchdog with Starbite the Space Dog. This section is devoted to Kickstarter projects, uh, ones that are made similar to other Sega games, or um, there's actually specific ones that are made for the Dreamcast. And just, we give short reviews about the games and uh, previews and we're just uh, really really excited about these as well so um and the, the great thing is you can click on each individual one and it'll tell you about it whether it was funded um you know how much was pledged and we've got a verdict system as well once again just a nice another little feature and lastly one of the ones i wanted to highlight was the sega 2016 a year in review essentially this is kind of just you know what it is we go and we look at the games that came out last year kind of go over them what we liked what we didn't like about them essentially just break it down and uh give our thoughts and opinions on those games so there you have it uh, mega visions issue number two um that's not you know everything that's in there there is so much more this magazine is just loaded with content that you'll have hours of reading material. It is fantastic. Please go ahead and download it. Um, let us know what you um, like about the magazine um, and our Mega Visions forums. Thanks again so much for your support because with you, Mega Visions does.